to attempt to put together a blog today. So I'm going to be, I guess, recording different parts of the day, starting with my commute into work. I will also see what I can record from work. It may not be in my office. Uh, we're not allowed to bring cameras and stuff like that in the office. But I will try to get as much as I can. Maybe during lunch. Um, if I remember, I'll do my commute home. But we all know how you can start off the day with a set of uh, plans and then life shows up. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. This is my first attempt of like doing a vlog for the whole day. Starting out to work. <clears throat> this is one of the days when I don't work from home. So the job in good traffic is an hour and 15 minutes away. And right now I'm in good traffic. I am traveling about 65 miles an hour. This is comfortable. So it's slow but comfortable. So this is my commute. Twice a week. Depending upon what time I leave. If I leave early, commute is an hour and 15 minutes. It could be faster. I don't think it could be under an hour. But coming home is a whole nother story. So I am traveling on the highway, all highway, straight from my house to the job site and back. So in the evenings, depending upon what time I leave, if I come in early and get in before nine, which is what's gonna happen this morning, I leave about, I don't know, it depends on my work schedule, if I have meetings, what's going on during that day. But I try not to leave any later than 3.30 because that's when rush hour traffic is really bad. If I leave after 3.30, like let's say 4 o'clock, it'll take me two hours to get home at a minimum because that's how much the volume of traffic would have increased. So yeah, right now, just driving along. For the most part, I listen to some e-books. Is that what it's called? Not an e-book, but um, audible books. At other times, I listen to my series XM radio, Heart and Soul Station. That's my favorite. So I like it. I don't go out much. So this commute actually gets me away from home. It's me in a different rhythm outside of my comfort zone. However, as they require us to begin to come in more during the week, I will, or we are, considering relocating. Don't really want to relocate because I'll be away from my family, my kids, my grandson. You all know I love spending time with my family and my husband's family as well. So we're contemplating relocating. We'll see. If we do it, it will be at the end of the school year. As you know, my husband is a teacher. So he is a public school teacher as well as a professor. So if we relocate an hour, away or even 40 minutes away from where 
work in time to get to my desk, hook up my laptop to my monitors, and begin my day. I have a quick sync up meeting with my manager at 8.45, and then I have a stand-up that I need to lead beginning at 9 a.m. That stand-up ends at 9.15, and then we have a meeting with all of our tech leads. It's called Tech Time. At 10 o'clock, we have a brunch and work. So I really won't be free or able to get back on to film anything until probably around 11 and I'll try to share with you what I have for breakfast which is basically going to be cranberry juice and a blueberry muffin today not sure what I'll have for lunch I did not bring lunch so I will probably have to go out or go downstairs into the area where we have all the food vendors I think somebody said something about they're going to have food trucks today. Another department is going to have food trucks and they invited us to go over. So we'll see. That would be great. If that happens, I'll definitely get some footage. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so I made it in time. I will have both of our meetings at my desk. Right in the parking garage. About to go into the building. I will chat with you all later okay my outfit of the day blazer and jeans i'll give you a better look <laughs> and shoes i'll give you a better look when i get inside okay you guys so i wasn't able to get any footage at work i had back-to-back -back meetings and then we had a food truck event so we all went down to the food trucks and it just totally slipped my mind i didn't even take any pictures of my outfit so i'm not sure if i'm gonna do another video or i'll take some pictures home so i can show you my outfit of the day i basically wore a black blazer black tank top underneath of it and some wide leg jeans with some pointy toe mules because today was Friday and we usually dress down on Fridays but because I have a lot of meetings I wanted the upper part of my body to still look professional so that was my outfit of the day heading back home now I should be home in about one hour okay so I'm going to jump on real quick I just wanted to know if where you're working they have food truck events because that was really a nice activity for us to get out of the office and get to know people from different parts of the company that we would normally get a chance to mingle with the type of food trucks that they had they had one that offered sliders they had one that offered like fish tacos they had another truck that offered barbecue. I can't remember what the third one was. I, to, this, to, to this moment, I can't figure out what they were serving. It was a lot of sweet stuff. So I'm really not sure what they were serving, but there were like four different food trucks out there. So we had a variety of things to choose from. We also, this was like an employee appreciation day type of thing. So we didn't have to pay for anything. They gave us more than one ticket so you can get something for more than one truck. Or we could have used the ticket for any of the uh, food vendors that we have out or downstairs normally. So we have like four different food stations that we can pick from inside the building. And then on the way back up to the office, they had a station where you can pick up sodas, juice, water, and warm cookies of all kinds so i have a lot of food and uh taking home with me because i wasn't able to eat everything but um overall this is their way of showing the employee appreciation they have flowers and the area set up for us in our office area where you can 
go and eat. So they're looking for ways to get us back into the office. And if anybody is looking for ideas how to get your remote workers to come in, food is always the answer. So I highly recommend food trucks. So I just wanted to give you that a little bit of an update and find out if you are having 